Coach, uh, time the, the break is over now. Um, time to get back on the mat. To just your excitement level to to get back out there in a kind of a competitive environment now. Well, I think we're all really excited. We had a you know a couple weeks of really hard training, and now this week of uh, finals. So I think people are ready to hit the mats and you know get some competition. It's your first time against Pitt here at WVU. What do you know about the rivalry? What uh, what have you learned about it? Uh, and what are you looking forward to most? I know that we want to beat Pitt. I know that. Um, no, it's a great rivalry, and, and uh, you know, it's. I know all the, a lot of the kids know each other. Um, I know it's a big deal to the school. I know it's a big deal to us. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. And then just a couple of the younger guys finally have some dual matches under their belt with Caleb and Luke. Just kind of how they developed over the last couple of weeks and going into this week. Yeah, I think every time you get you know experience when you're young and you can get out there and compete. You know, it's a positive, especially if they take it the right way. And, and those kids are, you know, they're training hard. And, um, you know, hopefully you'll see it, you know, another step in, you know, in their growth and maturity. Would you say it's Nick and, and Christian, maybe the, the two guys that have maybe stood out the most to you so far, kind of just with the way their seasons have started? Yeah, I think, well, those two guys have done really well. And, you know, and, you know, they're going to develop, you know, and Christian's obviously older. Yeah. I think is a leader and, and Nick's doing a good job, you know, really proud of Nick and, you know, his preparation and how he's conducting his life now. So I think he's on track to, you know, to be very successful. But we have a couple guys, you know, Matt Schmidt obviously been hurt, but, you know, his approach to the sport and his preparation is, is something that we look to for, you know, leadership. And Noah Adams, even as a, as a younger guy, I think is really doing a nice job of, of you know, being a leader. And then a lot of individually ranked guys with fit. I mean, Zach's going up against the same guy he's been going up against the past couple of years. Uh, kind of, how do they go about that mentally? I don't know. I th those rankings are screwy. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know. We if we wrestle well, we can win. That's you know, that's all I know. So you know, that's our goal is to go out and wrestle well against anyone, ranked or not ranked. Have you had to do anything special with the kids? Um, Maybe to keep focus or to keep the intensity up just because of the way the schedule's kind of fallen with, with some time off and then a lot of uh, school work and, and then now obviously back to back yeah. weekends of, of big meets. I think it's always just, you know, with such a long season, college wrestling, um, you know, it is a challenge to keep kids focused and, um, you know, just on, you know, on task. But, uh, you know, this week was difficult because the kids have a lot of finals and we're trying to work in some workouts around that. But, um, you know, certainly that's our number one goal is to, to knock down those classes. And, uh, but I, I think you can do both. I think you can be a good student, and I think we can whip Pitt. So we can do them both.